81 bonds. When will we see that market start to normalize? When will we see that start to hinder? Is it just a matter of time or do you think that it's going to have a, a permanent premium? And I, I should say, I've got a bias here. We heard that there was the death of the cocoa <laughs> bonds a few years ago and they came back fully. Uh, so I'm, I'm a little bit suspicious of people who say me, tell me that 81 bonds are dead forevermore. Where do you stand? No, it's, it, it, it's not dead. I mean, it's, I think the Credit Suisse situation is definitely a, a cause for concern. Uh, there wasn't a respect of the uh, uh, creditor, um, you know, waterfall in that, uh, in that instance, in that, in that, right, uh, in that write off. Uh, however, uh, there, there was uh, definitely a clause in the documentation, um, you know, allowing for, for that instances. I think what it means is that. Um, you know, it, investors are going to be a lot pickier, a lot more careful. Uh, you know, it is still an asset class that it that is going to be reliable. You know, that is going to be viable both on the buy side and certainly on the sell side, on the supply side. Um, I think that there will be um, very much a differentiation amongst the different structures uh, because there are different structures. Um, the peculiarity of the uh, Credit Suisse or the Swiss um, 81 framework is that it is a permanent write down. Um, Whereas most of the rest of Europe is either a temporary write down, meaning that if there is, you know, a write down that happens, uh, there can be a, 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 a write a write up, um, and uh, you know, and you also have a lot of um, 81 bonds that actually are uh, convertible into uh, into uh, equity, okay. which also does provide a bit of an upside. Okay, so do you think we should have understood and maybe now fully understand the different geographies and the way that 81s are used differently? in different geographies. I mean, should we have been surprised by these developments or, or, or a finer reading of the small print would have, would have led us to conclude that this would happen? Absolutely, right? absolutely. I mean, I think these are very risky instruments and it means that, you know, you do have to do your homework as an investor and, and read the fine print. Uh, and I think that also on the issue, you know, on the supply, on the setting up of the documentation, uh, you know, there's a little bit of a lesson to be learnt, uh, a lesson to be learnt here and, and maybe for issuers to to really look at all eventualities. Uh, but uh, no, look, this market is going to come back. I think that in the very low rate uh, interest rate environment that we've had, you know, you, you, you kind of had in investors were somewhat blindsided and then sort of going into uh, to this asset class. But I think that uh, now with, with higher rates, one, investors are going to be a lot pickier. Mm. I think investors that are not really specialized on the product, uh, you know, will not, uh, you know, will, will, will be a lot Lot more okay. limited in terms of their prices. in terms of that normalization process post the sort of financials drama Caroline our conversations just to conclude our con conversations with the banks that you speak to and with those who are buying this debt is it edging back towards thinking about inflation and the whole Fed narrative or is it still are you still hung up is, is the sector still thinking very much about financial turmoil um no, I mean, the, I think the, the long-term trend definitely and the, 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 the long-term direction of travel for, for the, uh, for the uh, financial institutions is, is really the, the inflationary narrative, mm. you know, from, from my point of view. That's sort of the way that I see it because eventually if that inflation is not coming under control, it will have an impact on, you know, on, on the economies, uh, on, the, on the health of the balance sheet, uh, of, the, of the bank's balance sheet. Um, Financial turmoil, you know, they, they come and go. They, <laughs> I've been in the market for 30 years. There's been a number of financial turmoils and, and, and the market rebounds. But it does, you know, provide um, maybe a little bit of a thinking process about kind of the, you know, you know what, what, how the market should be, um, you know, positioning itself uh, in, ahead of these turmoils. Caroline, thank you very much.